so here we are unboxing yet another mouse. This is the Zowie EC2CW, and this is the same blunt knife from last time. I've actually owned the EC1, which is my current probably most comfortable mouse, and I've also owned the EC3CW. Um, I found the EC3 to be too small for me, <laughs> the size of that box versus the size of the thing in it. Um, so I found the EC3 to be too small. I think the EC1 is probably about the right size for me, but I'd like to try a mouse that's just a little bit smaller. That's the same shape. So I'm gonna open this one up. I'm gonna show you what's in the box. So the EC2 CW, um, and then we'll get into some other stuff, maybe if I have time. So let's just slide it out. Again, we've got the mouse on the top there. Really nice looking unit. See all of that? It's got all the plastic on it. I'm just gonna peel that off now. So satisfying, isn't it? Taking those things off. Just take those off, take those off. This feel a little bit, quite a bit smaller than the EC1, in my initial impressions. I've got my EC1 here, actually. The buttons feel, maybe I've just worn mine in. The buttons feel a little bit sharper on this one. And it's got the typical Zowie black skates, which if you're not familiar with these, they're quite a slow skate. So when you compare it to something like the Tiger Ice Feet or the core pads, they're a little bit slower, which is why I don't think many people like them. I don't mind them myself, but um, there we are. So underneath the mouse, we've got the user guide, just what button functions do what and what's inside the box. Extra pair of those black skates. Some warranty information. Got some regulatory statements, which are always exciting. Got our enhanced receiver. So this is the Whopper, the charger boy. So let's, oh, I love that sound. So cool. So that's one receiver. We've got the second receiver here. Let's see if I can pick it up. So that's the second receiver. One thing I wish Zowie would do is put on their receivers what mouse it belongs to because I've got a couple of Zowie mice now and I can never tell which one is which just by looking at the receiver so I end up plugging them all in. There we are, there's our first world problems I know. And then we've got the sort of receiver adapter. So you've got a USB-C and a USB-A in there. Underneath all of that we've got Another box with quite a nice braided cable on it, which is fine. Got plenty of those knocking around now. Is there anything underneath? Nope, that's it. It's EC1, it's EC2. Love the coating on these mice. Love everything about these mice, honestly. My scroll wheel sounds different. Listen to that. This is the EC2. And this is the EC1. They must have done something to the scroll wheel. Certainly less offensive now. In terms of sound, at least. I really like the function of the scroll wheel. Here we've got the X-Lite V3. Looks quite similar in person, but I suppose the only way to tell the difference between mouse shapes is when you actually get them in your hands and play with them. So we've got the X-Lite, we've got the uh, Vaxi Outset AX as well, so I've had a really good time with this mouse, the Outset. I'm quite looking forward to playing on this one now and seeing how it performs versus my EC1. Um, and then I'm, I'm sort of slowly getting used to the X-Lite V3 and the only thing I don't like about this mouse, because it is a banger, is this aluminium scroll wheel. I don't know whose idea that was, but it's not my favourite. So this one could be my new favorite mouse. I'd say currently that sits with the EC1. My core pads installed. I love the EC series. It's been a long-term favorite of mine. I've been maining the EC1 for about three months, maybe. The EC2 might just be a little bit more dynamic in my grip. So I'm excited to give it a go. 
Um, I'm actually co-maining the EC series with the AX and the NPO on S. So I've got sort of a main three, if you like. I love the Vaxi mice, I love the Zawi mice. Um, and if it wasn't for this stupid scroll wheel, I'd be all over this as well. All right, that's it. My battery's dying on my phone. Time to stop recording. Thank you so much. Let's see how it performs.